Runit Island is one of 40 islands of the Aniwetok Atoll of the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean. The island is the site of a radioactive waste repository left by the United States after it conducted a series of nuclear tests on Aniwetok Atoll between 1946 and 1958. Now locals, scientists and environmental activists fear that a storm surge, typhoon or other cataclysmic event brought on by climate change could tear the concrete mantle wide open, releasing its contents into the Pacific Ocean. Runit Dome represents a tragic confluence of nuclear testing and climate change, said Michael Gerard, director of the Sabian Center for Climate Change Law at Columbia University, who visited the dome in 2010. It resulted from U.S. nuclear testing and the leaving behind of large quantities of plutonium, he said. Now it has been gradually submerged as a result of sea level rise from greenhouse gas emissions by industrial countries led by the United States. Aniwetok Atoll, and the much better known Bikini Atoll, were the main sites of the United States Pacific Proving Grounds, the setting for dozens of atomic explosions during the early years of the Cold War. The remote islands, roughly halfway between Australia and Hawaii, were deemed sufficiently distant from major population centers and shipping lanes, and in 1948, the local population of Micronesian fishermen and subsistence farmers were evacuated to another atoll 200 kilometers away. In total, 67 nuclear and atmospheric bombs were detonated on Aniwetok and Bikini between 1946 and 1958, an explosive yield equivalent to 1.6 Hiroshima bombs detonated every day over the course of 12 years. The detonations blanketed the islands with irradiated debris, including plutonium-239, the fissile isotope used in nuclear warheads, which has a half-life of 24,000 years, 